Wow, this is so embarrassing for Trump and his campaign. He just got badly booed before starting his speech at the Libertarian Convention in Washington, D.C. tonight. This is hilarious. Take a look at the clip. Yes, Harry, he most certainly did get relentlessly booed by the Libertarian Party at the Libertarian National Convention. I gotta admit, as a proud member of the Libertarian Party who's been campaigning for the Libertarian Party here on TikTok since the 2020 election, I was actually disgusted with the fact we even invited this guy to the convention. But hearing him get relentlessly booed like this was the greatest outcome we could have possibly asked for here. And it's just as bad for the Democrats as it is the Republicans. Because the Libertarian Party is the fastest growing party in the United States for a reason, and people are tired of the two-party system. They're tired of both of you, the Republicans and the Democrats. And the number one argument that Democrats like you have over-relied on when engaging with Libertarians is accusing us of being republican light. But now, any one of us could easily point to this outcome at the Libertarian National Convention and say, Hey, we booed Trump off stage. We are not the same. We do not like the guy. We do not like the Republican Party at all. And that's not even counting for the fact that RFK Jr., another alternative candidate, is already polling better than Biden. And when the Libertarian Party finally picks their presidential nominee tomorrow evening, it's going to get so much worse for the Democrats. Because then the Democrats are going to have to compete with two anti-establishment presidential nominees. And when you consider the fact that unlike RFK Jr., the Libertarian Party already has guaranteed ballot access in all 50 states, y'all are going to have an even harder time fighting our candidate than y'all have had with RFK Jr. Personally, I'm hoping that we choose Chase Oliver as our presidential nominee because that's going to take the whole identity politic thing that y'all have been relying on for the last God knows how many years off the board considering he's a gay man. What are you going to do? Accuse him of being transphobic? Yeah, good luck with that. What's next? Try to accuse him of being a misogynist? Mm, he's kind of choosing a woman as his VP from the way it's starting to look. But by booing Donald Trump off the stage, the Libertarian Party has established themselves as the best alternative to the Republicans and the Democrats. They've established themselves a perfect rival for the two-party system. And I don't know if the Greens have picked out a presidential nominee yet, but I can guarantee you, once they figure it out, it's going to be even worse for y'all after that. Because once the Green Party establishes their presidential nominee... The far left is kissing the Democrat Party goodbye. So remember, boys and girls, Republicans are red, Democrats are blue. Neither party cares about me or you. Be bold. Vote gold.